Okay, so let's have a look at our promo tab first off. At the very top, when you sign into Kobo Writing Life, which is where kind of all the action happens behind the scenes with Kobo, you will see this promo tab here. If it doesn't appear, it simply means that you don't have access yet. And all you need to do is email Kobo and they'll set it up for you. So don't panic if you don't see it. Now, promos is where you get to interface with the, with the Kobo promotions people and get onto the, the Kobo site for different sections where you can have your book. So there's often like mystery and or free or you know special deals or percentages off. So there are a range of promos that they do and you can use this to help get your books seen by different people. It seems simple. You go, you click on the promo tab, it will show you all the promos that are available at the moment. And it does seem a simple process to go, yep, that one fits, I'm going to go with that. But what I am going to do now is go through three examples of a promo and the language that you need to be mindful of because this can help you then get accepted for the promo. Obviously, there's a lot of authors going for each promo. So we want to put ourselves as the best option forward. So what I've done is just taken three these are applicable right at this moment and you'll see over here the dates and things and then the description I've here just pulled that description out so that we can see it so the things here that you need to be mindful of the words matter so what Kobo how Kobo uses the words here you need to skip over them or not go oh that's nice every word has meaning and has power in these promos so what that means is that you need to make sure that you meet the criteria that explicitly meet the criteria and don't just go, oh, I'll just see how I go, because that can actually create some bad will with Kobo if you are applying for things and you're not actually compliant with them. So let's have a look at this first one. So this is for a Kobo plus list feature over here. And they give you just a little bit of a blurb about what the, the promo is. So you're applying for one week on the plus page in those countries, and there's six spots available per week. So what they're letting you know is that competition is going to be fairly high for this. There's only six spots. Okay, so in order to be eligible, your titles must be opted in everywhere. Kobo Plus is available. Okay. That does not mean that you can only be in Kobo in America or you can only be in Kobo in Australia and New Zealand. You need to be everywhere that Kobo Plus is. So if you aren't, you either need to go and enroll your book everywhere in Kobo Plus in all the availability, all the countries where you can, or it's not something that you join. Obviously, you need to be a Kobo Plus member first, but... If you're not everywhere, don't even think of joining or applying to join. And the other thing here is the price. So your title must have a regular price of 99 cents or 99p or higher in all the promotional territories. So once again, it needs to be higher. Now, this is a US amount. So if you're in Australia, make sure that if you've got it for 99 cents Australian, that it needs to be the equivalent of 99 cents in the US. And that price is obviously going to go up. Let's say at the moment, it could be $1.49 in Australia in order to match 99 cents in the US. This is where the wording becomes really important. If you don't meet this criteria, or if you don't meet the pricing criteria, then you're more or less, you know, you're out of running. So the idea is to, yes, apply for as many promotions as you can, we're probably knocked back. I look through our figures. We're knocked back maybe 50% of the time with promotions. That does not mean anything more than we just need to apply for more promotions. So there's don't take it personally. Don't get down about it. Often it can take six to nine months to actually see traction in getting accepted into promos. So if you are new to promos, keep going. It's okay. You will get there. And then once you do, and let's say you get one promo, you apply for another one, you don't get that one. 
it has no meaning apart from the fact that there are a lot of authors going for it and someone else got the spot. So don't give up, keep going, but do read what they say in the, in the promo offer so that you can get it right. Okay, let's look at this next one. This is for a free page and it's a genre list. So in this one, it, the genres are romance, mysteries and thrillers and sci-fi and fantasy. Your book needs to fit into one of those three genres. So you're purchasing one week on the list, only six spots available per genre per week. So in effect, there's 18 spots available for this particular promo per week. So once again, competition is going to be fairly high. When you submit your title, you need to put a zero price in. So what they mean there is that you don't change your price on the book itself. You actually change it when you do your when you submit the promotion. You put zero for the price. If you don't put zero there, then that automatically cuts you out. Okay. So if approved, the system is going to save the price and you know blah blah blah. If your book is perma free or you choose to save a zero price for a few weeks after your one week feature, your book will linger on the free page. We only remove books once they are no longer free. I love this line because they're actually telling you what you should do for this particular promo. So there's only six spots available in your genre and it's only for one week. But what they're actually saying to you is if you keep your price at zero after your promotional week, you will actually stay on the promo page. And we have seen this happen. In effect, you can get a whole bang for your buck if you get the spot, keep the price at zero, you literally can have a free campaign for a period, let's say, as long as you want. Let's say it's four weeks. You can run free promos within Kobo. You can do Kobo-specific promotions, but you're still getting the love from Kobo and their special promo page they are showing people. So your book stays on that page. So whenever you see something like this, don't discount it as, oh, okay, that's interesting or that's nice to know. This is actually Kobo telling you the hack or a workaround of if you want to keep the love you know, going with us, keep your book for free. Now, I'm a huge proponent of selling your book for full price, not offering it for free. And you're not going to have a business for long if all your books are free. But when it comes to special promos like this, I think there's real value in doing a, a free promo for an extra week or an extra couple of weeks after something like this. Liked what you saw? Hit that and subscribe button so that you can stay connected and we can share with you more great author strategies to sell more books.